And here we have Seamus's totem, which I painted this evening. It's a really small model, uh, so I had to use a very fine brush. I'm not sure I got the eyeball right there, but he is quite small and fun. He basically just runs around uh, a little bit far away from Seamus, able to cast one of Seamus's spells whilst also taking a pot shot with that gun. But every time he does it, it kind of knocks him back because he's such a little gimp. Um, I had great fun doing the face uh, and the shirt, less fun doing the rest of him because he was quite small and fiddly. The back's not done very well but then again at the angle he's at you can't really see it um, and it's not where the shading would fall so, I mean the light would fall. And I've based him now so he's he's done and then there's the big evil psycho who's also based and looks a bit more normal now. And then at some point, I'll get around to this dude. I've always liked sniper-looking guys. Mostly because it suits my gaming style of <laughs> standing back and taking pot shots uh, without being hurt, because I'm a coward. Um, well, that's not true, actually. My gaming style is just to run up to the enemy and see what happens. There's no real tactics. Um, but he looks quite cool. The only problem is in this game you have to pay an extra soul stone, an extra point, to have mercenaries in your squad. And if you're playing at really low point levels like I am, um, you know, 15, 20 points, then it's not necessarily always worth paying that point. Although if you are playing the undead, the resurrectionists like I am, a bit of long range artillery is uh, always welcome because it is unusual. All I need to do now is make sure that when I um, varnish these guys, I don't ruin them, which is my old Apache trick. Wish me luck. <laughs> 